Hello, and welcome back to Cooking for the Yum of It. Today, I'm going to be preparing the very tasty casserole de haricot bear. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly, but it is a casserole, a uh, butter bean casserole. Uh, in some countries, and in some families, they will call eggplant aubergine, they will call zucchini courgette. In my family, we've always referred to um, lima beans as butter beans. So, I will be referring to these as butter beans during the recipe, but for those of you who are not comfortable with that term, you can call them lima beans if you want. So, let's get started. Now, the main ingredient, of course, is going to be 20 ounces of your frozen baby butter beans. The next ingredient will be two small yellow onions, peeled and chopped. I'll only show myself chopping the one onion, or even not even all of that, but just half. This is how I learned Reese, not too long ago, the right way to chop onions from a Julia Child video. Let me take the stub piece. And there you have it. Let's set these aside until we get them all chopped and ready to go. And once all of your onions have been chopped, you put them in here with your butter beans. It doesn't matter what order you put these ingredients in because it's all going to get stirred together soon anyway. But I'm just going by the order there written on the recipe. Now, we're going to take two cans of cream of celery soup and we'll put that in there. This is one of those recipes that really makes you think how the companies, they will shrink the size of the cans or whatever it is you're buying, but they don't lower the price at all. When I first made this, and it's been a long time since I have, the cans were two and three, uh, ten and three quarter ounces, ten point seven five. Now they're down to ten point five, but the price hasn't gone down. Now this, uh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, this recipe was uh, one of my grandma's favorites. Uh, I don't know where she got it, but uh, I'm trying to follow her recipe just as closely as I can. But like I said, the uh, size of the ingredients have changed, but the prices have not. Now we take one can of pieces and stem or sliced mushrooms, liquid and all, and you just put that in there. Now we're going to take two ounces of diced pimentos, and we're going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper. And half teaspoon of dill. And one full teaspoon of minced garlic. Now some of you are probably asking Wesley, what about the salt? Well, that's taken care of with our next ingredient, which is about half a pound of salt pork, which uh, I found out from my friend uh, Anne Lewis and her sister Rosalind that in Australia this is referred to as streaky bacon. So we're going to 
dice our bacon. It's always better to have the meat cut than uncut. Although that is a matter of taste and a very bad joke. Now the last time I made this, uh, oh, it's been some time, a previous roommate of mine referred to this dish as uh, bean and bacon soup. But, you know, everyone can call this whatever they want to. But like I said, this is a butter bean casserole under how my family calls it. So, oh, let's move over here. And we put our salt pork, or if you're from Australia, your streaky bacon in there. And then we stir it well. cover and pardon my arm now the only issue with this is that it takes a while to cook so this is going to go on uh, <clears throat> low for 10 to 12 hours but it makes it is so worth it trust me when I tell you that so I will see you in 10 hours and if it's ready then we can have dinner if not we're gonna wait until two o'clock uh, two more hours at the current time, it is 8.22, so that's about 6.30, 8.30 at the latest. See you soon. Well, I have still another three and a half hours to go, but I want to come out and give this a stir. And Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's just going to be very tasty. Now, it has been 10 full hours. And we add our next to last ingredient, which is one cup of heavy cream. One of the staples of French cooking. Butter, cream, and garlic. Okay. And now we can go on to the next spot, which is adding the last ingredient, which is part of the dishing up and eating process. So let's do that. First, we Put our casserole into the bowl. And the last ingredient is a little topping or garnish, if you will, of shredded Parmesan. And there you have it butter bean casserole. Let's go eat. Oh, this is going to be good. Mmm. Mmm. Excellent. And just salty enough from the salt pork, also known as streaky bacon in some parts of the world and to some people, just the right amount of saltiness. Of course, that's a matter of taste. Some people like their food saltier, some people like it less salty, but I think this tastes pretty good to me. Anyway, there you have it. 
Mm. Butter bean casserole. I hope you get a chance to try this yourself. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. And speaking of subscriptions, I would like to thank everyone as of today, July 2nd. I now have 75 subscribers, so thank you very much. Please uh, feel free to comment down below. And as always, eat and enjoy.